I've been asked several times what the lamps I'm playing with are dangerous. Here's a little Zen and Shaw card lamp. And sure enough, it is dangerous. There's plenty of pressure locked, locked inside this bulb. But the main concern is the ultraviolet light. Can it be filtered out by something? How do you even know if it's filtered out? You can't see it. Oh, there's a way to check it. Here is an ultraviolet pass filter. It's a piece of wood's glass which will only allow the ultraviolet to get through. This will filter out all the bright light from the bulb, allowing us to see the phosphorescence of this little thing. This is a white LED. The emulsion on top of it glows when heat with ultraviolet or blue light. That's what makes it glow in the first place. So if this glows, we'll know that some ultraviolet is making it, is making it through. So let's try it. That's quite a bright light. So the first thing is a regular piece of glass. As you can see, there's pretty much no dimming in the glow. It passes all the ultraviolet through. So let's try plexiglass or acrylic, the kind of music. The glow diminishes. It absorbs a lot of the ultraviolet. Probably not all of it. You can see that the rim of the LED is not dimmed. So it's only the glow which gets dimmer. Another kind of acrylic with the dispersion. This also absorbs all the ultraviolet as evident by the lack of the glow. Here is another kind of transparent plastic, commonly used in all sorts of boxes. It doesn't really block ultraviolet all that much. And here is the polyethylene, the thing all kinds of drink bottles are made from. It kind of blocks a little bit of ultraviolet, but it also is quite thin. And here is a UV filter, commonly used by camera folks. Does it block any of the ultraviolet? Nope, not a little bit. Here's another kind of common camera filter. This is a hot mirror filter, commonly put in front of the CCD sensors of the cameras, so as to block all the infrared and ultraviolet light the sensors are sensitive to, but human eyes don't. And this one actually blocks all the ultraviolet. Well, that's what it was designed to do. So, it is possible to make these lamps safe if you put the right kind of protective material in front of them, which is what I do.